A motor unit is a neuron plus the muscle fibers to which it communicates. A small motor unit is used to control fine controls. An example is the voice box that has a 1 to 2 neurons to muscle fibers ratio. A large mo motor unit is used for powerful movements and an example is the bicep which has a 1 to 2,000 muscle fiber to whatever ratio. A twitch contraction is the hypothetical response of a muscle to a single brief threshold stimulus. In a myogram of a twitch, there are three phases, latent, contraction, and relaxation. The latent period are all the events leading up to the contraction cycle, also known as the part when the calcium is released from the SR. The contraction period is the period that the myosin and actin is binding and filaments are sliding past one another. And the relaxation period is the transport of calcium back into the SR. There are two ways that muscle responses can be graded, changes in frequency and changes in strength. Changes in frequency are summation and tetanus. Summation is the add, it's like the sum of all of the little humps that are together. Tetanus is just a special version of summation and there is fused and unfused. In unfused tetanus, you can see the humps because the humps aren't fused together. And in fused tetanus, it just looks like a big block because they're all fused together, which fused tetanus causes a plateau. And a plateau is when the muscle is at full contraction strength. And uh, this also ties into the idea of recruitment, which is the idea of uh, the number of active motor units are increased as the workload gets harder, which is the whole uh, picking up things, like you recruit specific amounts of uh, motor units, and uh, like if you think something is heavy, you can't pick it up even though you're not weak, you just didn't recruit the right amount of motor units. The refractory period is shorter in skeletal, but longer in cartilage. The nervous system can be broken down into two groups, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system contains the brain and the spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system contains nerves and receptors, and it can be broken down into three more groups, somatic, enteric, and autotonic. The somatic nervous system contains skeletal muscle, which is voluntary or involuntary. The enteric nervous system contains digestion and contraction within the GI tract and involuntary muscle. The autonomic nervous system contains involuntary and can be broken into two groups, parasympathetic and sympathetic. The parasympathetic is the housekeeper, which keeps everything calm, cool, and collected, and the sympathetic is the fight or flight. There are two types of nervous tissue cells, neurons and neuroglia. Neurons actually produce the action potential in response to the stimuli, when neuroglia are just support and nourish the neurons. The four types of neuroglia are astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, microglia, and swan cells. Astrocytes maintain chemical environment and provide nutrients. The oligodendrocytes produce the myelin sheaths in the central nervous system. The microglia engulfs the microbes, and the Schwann cells produce myelin sheaths in the peripheral nervous system. The parts of a typical neuron are the cell body, dendrites, axon, axon hillock, axon terminals, synaptic bulb, axon collaterals, Schwann cells, oligodendrocytes, and nodes of Ranvier. The cell body is the nucleus and the organelles, which includes the nizzle bodies. The nizzle bodies are clusters of RER used for protein synthesis. The dendrites receive and collect info from the environment. The axon is a long projection that carries info away from the cell body. The axon hillock is the axon and cell body meets. The axon terminal is the end branches of the axon. 
The synaptic bulb is the ends of the axon terminals, which contain synaptic vesicles with neurotransmitters. The axon collaterals is the branch of the axon. The Schwann cells forms myelin sheaths in the peripheral nervous system, and the oligodendrocytes form myelin sheaths in the central nervous system, and the nodes of Ranvier are the gaps between the Schwann cells. Articular cartilage covers the bone within the joint cavity. The articular cavity contains fibrous capsule and synovial membrane. The fibrous capsule is the outer membrane of the articular cavity. The synovial membrane is the inner membrane and secretes synovial fluid in articular cavity. The synovial fluid lubricates the joint and is used during nutrient waste exchange. The three connective tissue sheaths are the epimysium, the paramysium, and the endomysium. The epimysium surrounds the whole muscle, the paramysium surrounds the muscle fascicle, and the endomysium surrounds individual muscles.